Hello everyone. I hope everything's well with everyone. Um, the other day I had to take my RV back into the shop. It had a leak in the overhead cab area and they repaired it. And when I got it back it was the overhead area was just covered with dirt and caulk and just a mess because I had to cover it with plastic for about a month before I could take it in because I needed to get new tires first. So I got the tires, got the overhead cab leak fixed, sh polished and shined the overhead cab. It looks really, really good. Um, and my next step is to wash, the, I washed the RV the other day, but I did not have time to polish everything, so I only worked on the cab, overhead cab area. And my next step will be to do the truck. So. I washed it the other day too. I ha got some rubbing compound that I will be using. I don't know if this will show up in the video. See the little spots on my hood? Some of them it needs to be deoxidized. Some of them is caulk. Some of it's tree sap. And my whole hood is just covered in it. So I plan on using rubbing compound to get that off with today, and then I plan on waxing. Unfortunately, you can see on my front grill, somebody popped off the chrome strip on it. And they had to really work on it, because if you look here, there's little plastic rivets that they had to break. Sorry about the dogs howling, they hear me out here and they want to be out front. They can't come out front. It's not fenced. don't know if this shows up, but this is rust colored paint from their scaffold when they ran it into the side of the rig. The other side was worse and I was able to get it off with robbing compound. There's black streaks running down from my antenna. I'll get that off. It's either wax or rubbing compound. The wax will probably do it. And here are my supplies. I've got rubbing compound, a pair of kitchen yellow gloves, turtle wax to wax the truck part with when I'm done, only the truck part. I don't use that on the fiberglass. I use fiberglass wax for that. My uh, car wash brush on the extension pole. A rag for the rubbing compound. The yellow rag to moisten so I can wipe off the rubbing compound as I go along because you don't want it to sit and dry. And then the blue chamois to buff it all off with when I'm finished. Okay, so to start, I take my rag. Just lightly wipe off any dust and debris off the hood. And I take the rubbing compound, put a little bit on the rag. And you find a little spot and you lightly rub. We're working on a painted surface. The fiberglass could take a lot of pretty good rubbing. The paint you have to be careful with because you can scratch it. So I will work on this get this gray stuff off and then as soon as I do that I will get my wet rag hold on I gotta go find it okay here's my wet rag so I just wipe off the compound as I go along that way it won't settle before I can wash the truck again after I'm done with all the rubbing compound then I will rewash the truck and then I'll wax it okay I got this corner cleared up it had a lot of big gray splotches on it. It was not easy. It took a lot of elbow grease. Actually, a lot of compound and elbow grease to get it off. I had a yellow slash here of caulk or something. I don't know what it was. It could have been sap. Got it off. We still have a lot of little spots. But it's coming along. Well, I'm about halfway there on this hood. There is... I don't know if the camera can see it. I don't know if I can find it. It stuns out. There's a spot around here somewhere that's giving me a hard time. And then there's another spot here. Again, I don't know. If, yeah, there, there it is. It's giving me a hard time. And then this is my center line. So I pretty much have this part finished. I'm going to come back and work on those two spots later because I can lose too much time just concentrating on them alone. Get the rest of it done and then come back and do that those two spots. 
just wanted to show you my progress. I'm still working on it, still getting there. Um, there's still a couple of spots left that I still have to work on. This little rust area here, which isn't rust, it's just paint off of a scaffold or something. I'm taking a break from the hood. I'm going to work on this side just a little bit. You can see the black, black streaks. So I'm going to compound over that. It'll just take a light touch for that. And it comes off my antenna thing, unfortunately. Not much I can do about it, I guess. But I can compound that out easily enough. As you can see, that worked pretty good. Just wipe off the rest of the compound with a damp, uh, damp cloth. Notice all the black striking is gone. So I like that. I am finally done with the rubbing compound. As you can see, I went ahead and rubbed it along the sides of the doors. I did the whole truck part. This is the last panel. Just to get any kind of dirt and, you know, uh, gray stuff off, such as that, like that. Because when I cleaned up the other spots, it left little white marks everywhere. So it was better to just do it all. My hood looks 99.0% better. I've got one spot I could not get. And I guess I'll just have to call it its little blemish. We all have our blemishes. So, but it looks pretty darn good. And now, gee, I get to wipe off the rubbing compound off the side here. And then I have to wash it and wax it to seal it all down. Okay, so here's my car wash stuff, my hose, my bucket of wash. RV gel gloss, heavy duty RV wash and wax, which I use on the truck part also, and my extension pole broom washing thing. So, we will get started. come back and clean the windows so I don't have to do them again that saves me from the next cleanup windows are all nice and clean now having a squeegee makes a huge difference now the book off the rest and start waxing I can do this quickly. I've been at it all day. Got this part waxed. The door's waxed. I gotta buff this. Just wanted to catch it on video before I went on any further. My next step is the hood. Okay, so the door and the side panel are now waxed. Although the hood looks shiny, it's not been waxed yet and we will wax it. And while waxing, do small sections at a time. Otherwise it dries and you won't be able to buff it off cleanly. Okie dokie, she's all done. Washed. All the stuff has been removed from the hood. All the caulk and glue and stuff that was stuck there took hours and hours of work but it's done double waxed her she's a nice pretty shine now it's all nice and clean I'm going to treat the tires so that they'll be nice looking too in fact that's a brand new tire both front tires are brand new the other back the dualies are only two years old and the overhead cabs all done so, her whole front end is done. Looking pretty good. This is a 1996 Coachman Catalina Sport. So, she's really, you know, 
in good shape. This is showroom finish almost. Well, actually, I would say it is. Except the pinstriping all needs to be removed. Long days, work, hard work, but it's done. Thank goodness. Yay! It doesn't matter the year of your rig. It's the maintenance and care that you put into it that counts. And she has like 75,000 miles on her, so that's really not bad for a 96. See you later.